all done the vlog it's uploaded and everything's good to go it's about 20 after 12. i also pretty much done or finished editing the cook and review the pizza thing but it's like 25 minutes long uh it started off being 45 minutes long it's because we cooked you know he cooked five different kinds of pizzas uh, so maybe in the future we'll try to limit things a little bit more uh, but in this particular case you know he did taught you how to do the dough taught you how to cut uh, up veggies and stuff little tips and stuff tips and tricks uh, and then you know fried this and made that and made four basically three different types of pizzas that we are going to try just for you guys um, but again the video turned out to be like 25 minutes long so I'm going to Go work out, then I have to go to the doctor's. Uh, sorry, work out, and then I have to go to Henry's. No, I can't do the Henry's thing, I have to do that later. So, so I have to go work out right now, and then go to the doctor's, and then go downtown to Smoke's Burrito-ini, burrito -ini, and, and then possibly on the way back hit um, Henry's and see if they will tweak my audio for me. Uh, so let's get going. Sam reminded me I had to walk him before I go. But there's a person walking their dog. And that makes Sam not want to do his thing. He's trying to trick me. So. Which is not easy to do. I mean, which is easy to do. Okay, I got a couple uh, questions that I'd like to answer for you guys. Uh, one of the questions was uh, how is the beard oil going? And. Uh, it's going good and when I told the, the lady who cut or trimmed my beard I told her I was using the beard oil and she said oh that's good and I asked her about beer balm and she's like ah don't worry about that kind of stuff but there are some products out there that you can put into your beard and it will just help shape your beard so it doesn't get out of control frizziness but the uh, the beard oil actually makes your beard nice and soft and as long as you use it often but not too often because then it makes it oily makes sense you're putting oil into your beard all the time it's gonna make it all oily and icky so you don't want that the whole Facebook birthday shout outs thing it's a Facebook birthday shout outs if you don't have a Facebook and you're not a friend of mine on Facebook then I don't shout you out because that's just the rule that's just the way it goes because I get people all the time hey it's my birthday tomorrow really okay happy birthday I wish you a happy birthday, but it's not going to be in the birthday shout outs because you're not a friend of mine on Facebook. And that's just kind of how it works and that's how it has to work. Uh, people have also asked me to, uh, you know, wish them a happy anniversary. Well, I don't do happy anniversaries. Um, I don't do anything except happy birthday shout outs, which is, you know, a nice little add on to the vlogs every single day. A lot of you guys really appreciate that. Some of you don't know that I do that and all of a sudden I wish you a happy birthday and they're like wow I can't believe you wish me a happy birthday well it's your birthday and you're a friend of mine on Facebook and again I don't want to have to go through a ton of social medias to find out whose birthday it is today that's not what I do I do food reviews so if you I wait till Facebook tells me whose birthday it is and those are the people I shout out all right cool that's just the rule. All right, we're here at the Leisure Center, gonna go work out. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys one of, one of my parking tips, and other people seem to do it too, is I usually try to park in this kind of a spot and move my car over as far as possible, just like this person did, and the other person behind them. Uh, you move right over, and that way if somebody parks there, they're not gonna bonk your car by accident. And uh, it's just a good tip to keep your car free from dents and things like that just helps and plus don't you don't need to park right up close to a fitness center you're going there to work out so park as far away if you can if you have the time uh, from the front door and that way you get a little walking exercise before you actually get in there all right hopefully nobody's working out and I can videotape this time so like usual I'm gonna do the elliptical for 30 minutes and then go straight to chest and hopefully I don't get any weird kinks in my muscles today. I'll finish my elliptical 30 minutes and uh, I'm gonna go work out. Uh, while I was on the elliptical, I thought about the whole questions thing. If a vlog is gonna be short, I will go through the comments and grab anywhere from one question up to five questions and try to respond 
to all of them. So I'll always leave questions and uh, I'll try and pick a few. If somebody leaves a really cool comment or a question that you want to see answered, give that comment a thumbs up and get that person's comment to the top. So I see that more people than just one wants a response to that and then I'll probably answer that one over the other ones. But of course I always have the final say as to what comments I want to uh, respond to for personal reasons maybe, I don't know. Just trying to work it out. Cool? Cool. So I started off with a 45 pound bar plus uh, 10, so that's 55 pounds and I moved up to 65, 75, 85. I'm just about to do my uh, 85 pound and there are, each of them is 20 sets uh, or 10, 20 reps. Um, so like I said, 20 reps of 55, then 20 reps of 65, 20 reps of 75. I'm gonna do 20 reps of 85 and see how well I do. Just finished my curls. I used the 25 pound, did uh, four sets of 10, and then moved up to the 30. I'll probably start on 30 next time, and then maybe next in a couple weeks start with 35. But uh, I'll do 30 from now on. Just finished up with shoulders, also did pull ups, but to the assist pull ups. Like I said, before I got to my change room too fast, you can't be in there with cameras. So, did my curls, did my chin ups, assisted chin ups. And I'm gonna do like three sets. It's been a while since I've done them, so I gotta work my way back up again. Um, now I'm heading down to my doctor's. See how, what I need to do to my life to change things maybe. But uh, it wasn't urgent. So we're gonna work on some stuff. Keep doing what we're doing somehow, some way. All right, I'm at the doctor's to find out about my blood work. Wish me luck. Here we go. Uh, they just took my blood pressure and it's a bit high and she's not too concerned about it. It's just that she's thinking that possibly me coming in to get results of a blood test possibly has jacked up my, my uh, blood pressure a little bit. But uh, she punched in all the other numbers and like I said last time um, about the first blood test I did, um, I literally went from the doctors to McDonald's. I did the two burger review and then I went and got my blood test and that messed up the blood results. So triglycerides was supposed to be like 1.5 and after that blood test, they were at five point something. But then we did the fasting and we redid the blood test and it was down to two point something. So the McDonald's didn't help the blood test whatsoever. Um, and then she punched in all the other numbers and I am in the low risk category of having a heart attack within the next 10 years. Bonus. Um, so as long as I continue to eat better, um, cut out a few things or eat smaller portions of things and exercise and lose some more weight, then I'll be good to go. Okay. So she took another blood pressure test and it was still elevated so she wants me to like in a month uh, go to like just a shopper's drug mart or whatever and, and uh, no I'm making an appointment for a month from now and uh, but between now and then I have to go maybe in a week or two weeks get my blood pressure done at one of those machines at shopper's drug mart or one of my friends I think Jim has a, a cuff thing uh, but and then I also had to do an EKG which basically is like a whoa which is basically a, a map of your heart real quick and it just lets them know if you've had any issues with your heart which uh, I don't think I've had any issues with my heart so yeah it's time to get a burrito <laughs> go down to smoke's poutinery but uh, I'm, I'm not gonna have pop or anything extra and I won't get a large you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. We made it downtown. I am on Richmond Street West in Toronto. 
and uh, we're about 600 meters away from where I have to turn left. And then we're gonna get onto Adelaide Street. And I think we have to come back. Yeah. So I'm gonna like go that way, then turn this way, and then come back a little bit because Adelaide's the eastbound road. This is the westbound. Yeah, this is the westbound one way. All four lanes go that way. Oh, they're making a movie. Those are movie trucks coming up. Right here. Those are movie trucks. Get the pylons out. I wonder who's in town. I bet one of you guys know. William F. White. They're the lighting company. Nice. And there's the CN Tower, people. That's one big stick. Cool. So this is, this is Adelaide Street West, I'm turning. Turning three meters. Okay, let's do it. All right, I just parked. It costs $8.75 to park between now and seven o'clock. I guess now is like five, I think. Anyway, so this is what I'm looking at. Downtown Toronto. And uh, Smokes is just around the corner. So it looks like there's a Smokes poutinery. And right below it is the burrito e burrito -ri. That's how you say it. burrito -ri. Right beside Burrito Boys. You remember that review, don't you? Never wanted me to come back and do their uh, quesarito or whatever it was. That's funny. Burrito Boys smokes burrito me. Hmm, a little tension there. I know it's gonna be weird. Look at my scary part about these ones is those are the small ones. These are the small ones? Good. I don't I don't want a big one anymore. Yeah, I know. You ready? You have fun? Okay. Just smile the whole time. And answer questions. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic food review just for you. Guess who I have sitting at the table with me? It's not in a table, we're sitting at a table. Okay, let's try that again. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I didn't turn my camera on one time throughout that whole thing except to record the video. Uh, I also noticed when I did turn it on, the battery is like half, which is, should have been fine. But, you know, I was talking with Ryan, I was talking with Adam, talking with Paula, all from uh, Smokes Poutinery uh, at the burrito -ry. And uh, there's just so many things to think about. And again, I hadn't seen these guys in a long time, so we are yapping the whole time and then we're like okay and then started getting really busy and then Pamela was there then we had to set up everything and make sure we're in the right spot and then I basically the whole time I forgot to do any part of the vlog so I apologize for that anyway so we are now trying to get on to the Gardner Expressway to get home hey guys welcome to March 1st nice uh, to finish off yesterday's vlog after I came home from smoked poutinery sat down and watched a couple more episodes of Dexter. I think I only have like two or three episodes left and uh, then I'll be done. Cool? Cool. And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs for Tuesday, March 1st and they are Nick, Griffin, Melissa, James, Connor, Alan, Pablo, Bernard, and Jury. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner. Whether you wait in or you wait out, happy birthday.